Dog's Hamlet is about communication. That is the heart of the play. It's it's these it's a it's a world where they speak modified English, um, you know, using the same vocabulary but completely different semantics. Um, and uh, and there's a character named Easy who is thrust into that world, and Easy is from our world and speaks English and this dog language. I mean, he has to struggle to communicate, and so it's sort of gets at the heart of who we are when we communicate with people and how do we do that. The three words I think that describe Dog's Hamlet best um, would be, it's a joke. But there's other things that go on, you know, points to be made, but I mean, it's absurdism. I mean, he's putting on sort of a joke, you know, for people to watch. It's, it's one big joke. Cahoots Macbeth is about complexity, craziness, and creation. I think people should see these plays because of the art that we're doing in creating them. We've been examining absurdist theater and it's been a lot of fun. It's been really challenging, so that's why they should come. Come to expect the unexpected. Be prepared for something you might not understand. I'm directing Mr. Me and um, my play is about um, Mr. Me and uh, her partner going on this journey and what happens when they encounter this obstacle that they cannot figure out, um, and what happens um, when they try to communicate with each other about this obstacle and this problem. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit about the search for identity in a way. Um, Mr. Me is just trying and trying and trying to figure out who he is and this obstacle that gets in his way on his journey is not helping. It's a little bit about the futility of trying to actually figure out who one is. My directing experience has been such a learning process for me. Um, I've only directed a scene before, so it's been really fun to collaborate with designers and actors and um, be creative in, through collaboration. Um, Every evening is something new, and it's a learning experience to have to learn how to think on, on the spot and come up with um, new ideas and to keep things exciting, um, but also to um, be professional and um, get to work when we need to get to work. So I'm having, I'm having a great time. It's been, it's been a really good experience for me. If I had to describe the Information Bureau in three words, it would be absurd of course, um, dysfunctional, and uh, confusing. I think people should come see the plays because, well, first off, they're very funny. They're absurdist comedies, so you're going to get a lot of laughs during them, during all of them. But it's comedy with a soul in that you're not only laughing just mindlessly, but you're, each one of these plays has a life lesson that you're getting out of. So either while you're watching the play or afterwards, upon reflection, you're kind of thinking like, huh, that gave me a little bit to think about right there. If I had to describe the play Spell of the Night, um, it would be when you put paint in, in water and it just kind of, everything blends together and you put that paint on paper and everything kind of just um, runs and it's like free to run. Spell of the Night is about um, the woman character who, who represents um, all of us actually who, uh, who are who've been tied down with uh, many things in our lives. And, and the things that tie us down is represented by the man. And the woman slowly starts to realize that um, these chains actually did exist with her. Um, and she, she begins to um, feel the need and the desire to break away from that. The play Useless Manners is about the professor who, who, ha who lives his life in a very square kind of way. And the visitor, the character um, who's the visitor, kind of visits his life and shatters everything that the professor um, had believed in. And I think that represents, or for me it represented how sometimes um, our existence seems really square and black and white, but 
there's too much more there's so much more in this world that we need to explore and we cannot afford to to live in that way there's not enough time for that so the character who's the visitor uh comes in and shatters that and i'm, I'm hoping that it does it for the audience too. directing absurdism was definitely like something completely new for me and i was learning about absurdism as i was in the process of directing so really um, understanding the genre understanding the the meaning behind um, what the founders of this genre kind of believed in um, definitely like challenged me in a lot of ways in interpreting the two plays that I had to direct and also working with the actors was a great experience um, it was my first time working with or being behind the scenes of the designing and the designing for the set and the costume so that was also a great experience to be able to interpret my um, artistic outlook through so many people and with the help of so many people. Mm -hmm.